October 1st. Today is Monday, July 27th, and half a decade ago to the day we started this channel. What? Right off the bat, I just want to say I'm really, I'm really happy that, that we're doing this and that uh, everyone has, has agreed to do it and we're all going to be making videos for this week like that. That makes me feel great. So I, I guess a lot has changed for me in the last five years and also a lot has stayed, you know, pr pretty consistent. I, the one thing that happened during Book Fighters is that I went to university, right? So first year of Book Fighters, I went to university and I guess uh, I finished university after we finished Book Fighters. So that, you know, uh, two years Book Fighters and university three years. So yeah, about a year after. Uh, I graduated with a first class degree in English Literature and Philosophy. And I had a, I had a great time. I'd recommend, I would recommend university higher education to anyone of any age. It's, it's one of the best things I've ever done. When we started this project, I was living in uh, Birkenhead near Liverpool. Uh, but since I, I moved to university, I moved to London for university. And uh, since then, I've been living in London. So I still live in London now. Uh, I've met two of you in person. Julian and I met. Uh, we went for tea. It was glorious. And then Lauren and I met, and we went to the V&A Museum, and we went and got breakfast, and like we had the best day. It was so much fun. And I think well, the other thing is like Room Fighters sort of made me. It wasn't the Room Fighters and Book Fighters. They weren't the first thing I'd ever done on the internet, but they were the first thing I'd done sort of individually. And they really sort of made me think of YouTube in a different way, right? So where I could somewhere where I could express myself individually and I'd sort of been on YouTube ever since. I did a I did a comic book show with my friend Dale, you know, which I really enjoyed doing. Um, and this year I'm starting like a bunch of new things. When I started Book Fighters, as I say in my uh, in my very first video, which I watched and cringed all the way through, mainly because I kept using the word awesome. And I use the word awesome, you know a fairly regular amount, but I have a feeling I was using it to sort of fit in with with the US crowd. That's the way it comes across. Like it doesn't feel quite natural for me to say. It's quite strange. Anyway, uh, in that video I say that the reason I started the channel was because I just wasn't reading that much anymore. I, I'd read a lot in the past and uh, it was just something that had fallen by the wayside. And I've got to say, like, since Book Fighters, I've read so much. So I think maybe it has a lot to do with, like, we were reading a book a week, and we were just really used to reading. We were just really used to always having a book there. Um, and I think that, you know, it takes, takes 30 days or 60 days or 40 days or whatever to make a habit, depending on what study you read. Um, and I think definitely, you know, I got into the habit of just always reading. I've read so much since Book Fighters has ended. In terms of what the best book is I've read since Book Fighters ended, I've got a couple of answers. Um, so you just got to deal with that. A guy called Haruki Murakami. Uh, the first book I read of his was Norwegian Wood, and it's like one of the most beautiful things I've ever read. Like crazy, crazy beautiful and disturbing and brilliant. Uh, there's another one called IQ84, I think is the title of the book, which is also wonderful. I'm currently reading uh, Colorless Sokoru Tazaki, which is also wonderful. It's just a great sort of humanist. Um, it's really simple to read but also, you know, very poignant and he's not scared to sort of take on some of these really dark, dull uh, topics that people sort of shy away from usually. Um, just because people, I don't know, people feel they're overdone or they're a bit cliched or, or not. And he takes them on in a really sort of beautiful and organic way. The best book that I've read though since we finished is probably uh, Shogun by James Clavell. It is about, oh, theme here by the way, it's about uh, feudal Japan and sort of samurai culture. It's historical fiction. Don't read a lot of historical fiction, but this is wonderful. Um, if you were interested in that era at all and about the sensibilities of that era, then it's basically a perfect introduction. And the interesting thing about it is it's written in a uh, third person, uh, sort of third person vocalized, but it switches between different narrators on the fly. And it does it in a really elegant, interesting way, you know, almost like we just, it, it, it couldn't have been done any other way because, you know, the fact that it's a book and we're just moving from, from thought to thought, all the different people in the room, and it, it, it's really, really well written. It's great. I, I enjoyed it very much. I hope it doesn't sound like too much of a stock answer when I say that I, I genuinely do think 
that the point of reading is well a to broaden yourself and just and just to open yourself up to new experiences and new places hey so with the james Cobell thing like it's a whole culture and i don't really enjoy reading history in that sort of dry way hey, here are the facts here's what happened historical fiction is you know quickly becoming something I, I really enjoy and it's just a way of opening yourself up to these ideas and you know it's a way of uh feeling that sort of connectivity, that broad sort of connective line that, uh, that, that that exists between us that we so easily forget about sometimes. So yeah, all right, it's a John Green thing, you know, understand others as complexity as you do yourself, but I pretty much think that that's, that's a perfect definition. You know, you read for entertainment and you read, um, you may be for like you know, intellectual betterment, uh, and you read sometimes to uh, to to travel back in time, you know. Like I'm, if I read if I read Narnia now, I don't I don't love C.S. Lewis, but like if I read Narnia, it, it it just takes me back to a very specific place in a very specific car, and it's just unavoidable, you know. Same with Harry Potter, all that kind of thing. But for me, you know, it really I read the the, the Kite Runner. I, oh my God. You know, just just to just to put me in a place that I couldn't have got to any other way. It made me think about things that I've never thought about before. So yeah, that's my answer. So before I wrap this up here, I just want to say once again, I'm so happy that we're doing this. I hope you're all really well. Like you're all my favorite, and um, book fight is was amazing for me. And you know, uh. I'll I'll never I'll never forget it. I'll you know it'll always be a big part of, of who I am, and I'm just you know once again I'm just so I'm so thankful to all of you for that. It was amazing. I have such fond memories, and um, I'm so excited for your videos this week. And it gives me just the greatest pleasure to say, Lauren, I'll see you tomorrow.